Have you ever wondered how a movie or animation can have multiple characters speaking in a scene without a single cut? Today, I'll show you the latest update to Design AI Lip Sync. In this new update, this AI makes up to four characters talk together in one seamless scene. You'll see real multi-character examples with image and video sources, and the tricks to make your own scene even better. First, I'll show you some of the different results I got with Design New Update, from one character to up to four characters talking to each other. You'll see how it works in music scenes, cinematic shots, and even animation, so you can use your credits much more effectively. I've added the link in the description, so you can try it out for yourself. A spark in the dark, it starts with one. A whisper grows louder, we've just begun. Hearts beating stronger, under the sun. Every heart beat calls your name. Like this, it feels like flame in your eyes. In both singing examples, I started by generating lip sync directly from an image source. Once the process is implemented, the characters become fully animated. Their lips move naturally in perfect sync with the lyrics, and even subtle details like eye contact between them make a huge difference. That small connection, the way they look at each other and react visually, adds a surprising level of realism and emotional impact to the entire performance. If a dragon appeared right now, I'd face it without fear. <laughs> Bravery is easy when the dragon only lives in your head. Perhaps. It's better not to invite such creatures at all. <laughs> See? Even he knows. At first, I used this image for an animation example, but the result wasn't exactly what I expected. The characters weren't really looking at each other while they were talking. This happens sometimes, and it's completely normal. To make the most of your credits, you can simply edit the source image before running lip sync. You can position the characters exactly how you want and make their interaction feel more natural. So, overall, this is a great tool for lip syncing animated characters as well. We move tomorrow night. Everyone should know their role by now. I'll handle the delivery point. No delays. Timing must be perfect. Hold on. I still think it's too soon. If something goes wrong, we don't have enough backup. We've been ready for weeks. Waiting longer only increases the risk. We don't have time for doubts. Stick to the plan. No changes. Why did she want to see me? What's she really planning this time? You shouldn't have called me here. It's too risky. Risky? We're already in it. You know that. If they find out, both of us are done. You're worried about them finding out. Think for a moment. The mission may already be compromised. Someone might give them information. Someone close to you. Impossible. I completely trust my people. Don't be too sure. <laughs> Loyalty fades faster than you think. Talk. Did you find a way or not? She's slipping away from us. We can't miss this opportunity. Somehow she knew. I didn't see it coming. For cinematic shots, in some cases, I decided to work with a video source instead of just images. This is especially useful when you want to handle more complex elements, like camera movement, natural transitions, or scenes with multiple character interactions. In these examples, I tested a variety of situations. Design handled all of them surprisingly well. The lip sync stayed accurate and expressive, the body language seemed natural, and even with several characters on screen, the overall flow of the scene remained smooth and believable. It makes a big difference if you're trying to achieve that cinematic, film-like quality. 
It also does a great job handling side profile faces, keeping the lip sync clear and natural when the character isn't facing the camera directly. Design is all-in-one AI platform that helps you handle every step of your creative process. From generating images and building consistent characters across scenes, to producing full videos with different models, everything happens in one place. It's a complete toolkit that makes creating professional content faster and much easier. Select Lip Sync or New Project to save this project in a dedicated area for easy access. From the left sidebar, press Lip Sync. Choose to start with an image or video. The tool will automatically detect all faces in the scene, and with the new update, you can select up to four faces. Select each face you want to add dialogue for. If a face isn't detected correctly, use Make Face manually to mark and add the desired face yourself. Once faces are selected, the editor creates a timeline with a separate track for each character. Press Pick a Voice button. In the text-to-speech panel, you can paste your dialogue, choose from multiple languages and voice presets. The 90s were fun because it was a time full of new trends, creativity. Get down now! Enemy taking over Bravo! You can also adjust speed and make it slower or faster, then generate audio. If you prefer, you can generate audio externally, for example with Eleven Labs or other text-to-speech tools, or record your voice and upload it. The tool accepts audio files up to 30 seconds. You can trim the end and start part of the audio, or remove unwanted parts. Arrange the lines on the timeline so the conversation flows naturally. When the first character finishes speaking, move the second character's audio to start right after, or leave a small pause if you want breathing space. Do the same for the third and any extra lines. Click the character's track when you want to append more dialogue. The tool currently creates lip sync videos up to 30 seconds long. If you need a longer scene, generate 30 second segments and join them later in an editor like CapCut or Premiere. For multi-character lip sync, normal mode is disabled and the editor uses Pro Mode, which gives better movement and clearer sync. Always preview your dialogue, check timing and speed, verify the credit cost, and then press Generate. When you use a video source, always pay attention to the video length compared to your dialogue length. For example, first I want this guy to speak, then the next one. But when I arrange the voices, the dialogue ends up longer than the actual video. In that case, the AI automatically reverses and loops the video to fill the timing that may not be proper for such scenes. So use a longer video source. In this section, I'll show you how to create a character and put your character in different scenes, and I will also show you how to replace a specific character in your image. For generating images, you can use text to image section. Here you can describe exactly what you want, choose from different artistic styles, and even enable the prompt improver so the AI can enhance your description automatically. You can also set the image quality and aspect ratio. For YouTube, I use 16 by nine. Here, you'll see how many credits each generation consumes. Once everything looks good, simply press Generate and get your output. Download the result, or you can do different works like generate videos, add lip sync, and more. Now, if you want a character to appear consistently across multiple scenes, head over to the Consistent Character tab in the sidebar. In this section, you can build a character once and then reuse it in different environments with simple steps. Click Build Your Character, and you'll see two main options. 
Use training mode when you already have several reference images of your character and want the AI to learn from them for higher accuracy. Use quick mode when you upload one image or simply describe the character you have in mind and the AI generates it for you. Add a name and description for your character. Then pick a style. I need realistic one. Press generate character and the AI will give you two preview versions. If you like one, select it. If not, you can regenerate and get more variations. Once you're satisfied, press start building and your new character will appear in the consistent characters list. From there, you can use that same character across multiple scenes by using different prompts. It generates two variations, and if you want the selected one to look sharper and more detailed, just hit the Enhance button to upgrade the output. In next step, let's say I want to replace a character in an image. I upload my scene into the canvas, choose my desired character from the list, and then mark the area I want to edit using the lasso tool. Add a description for the replacement character, and the AI will generate four variations. Some may look like face swaps, but you find exactly what you want. Double-click to place the result directly on your canvas. If you're happy with the output, press Export, choose the file type, and even upscale it to improve the quality. For video generation, go to the AI video section. You can select an image from your canvas or drag in a new one. Design AI gives you access to several popular video models. Simply describe the scene you want to create, set the duration, check the credit usage, and press Generate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share your own experiments and thoughts about this multi-character lip sync in the comments. And for more AI tutorials, check out these videos. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.